I'm Ron Dobies, and uh, I am uh, doing this video with Pastor Sarah uh, to talk about Freedom Works. So first of all, I want to thank Colonial Church and all the people who are involved in the Blessing Initiative, and particularly those uh, men and women who have vetted uh, Freedom Works. And I'm so thankful that Colonial is going to make this uh, very generous grant uh, to Freedom Works. Uh, I got to know um, FreedomWorks uh, originally um, through prison fellowship. I was a mentor through prison fellowship at Lionel Lakes Prison uh, in 05 and 06. So I've been uh, mentoring uh, men uh, in and out of prison for the last uh, 15, 16 years. Uh, when I was at uh, prison fellowship, um, the founder of Freedom Works, Fred Peterson, was one of the Bible study instructors in the prison. And that whole program started because of Governor Al Quee and uh, Chuck Colson, Prison Fellowship. And so after uh, a number of uh, probably two years and several men, I uh, agreed with Fred that the men really needed the help when they got out of prison much more so than when they were in prison. So Fred started uh, Freedom Works. The first facility in North Minneapolis <clears throat> was at uh, 36th and North Penn. And that opened, uh, and after a number of years, uh, the maximum size uh, for uh, residents was 14. And so one of the early residents was George Lang, who today is the executive director at Freedom Works. He had served, Saint, he was from St. Paul, and he had served a prison term at Lionel Lakes Prison and came through that pro, uh, fellowship program. Anyway, uh, so I uh, have had uh, a mentee uh, on average about uh, 12 to 18 months, which is the length of the program. And uh, I just think that's one of the few places uh, in my life where I see uh, men come to Christ and change their entire life. And uh, that's what keeps me going, Sarah, in, in that. These men come out of prison. Uh, they have a safe place to live. Uh, the facility... Uh, expanded dramatically in 2018. The previous year, 2017, uh, we moved the ministry from 36th and North Penn to 29th and North Emerson, only about a mile and a half in the original place. The difference is now Freedom Works is housing 110 men, no longer 14, 110. So you can imagine what that growth has done. Now, the recidivism rate, in other words, uh, if after three years you measure that by how many men return to prison, the national standard is 45% of the men return after three years. In Minnesota, because we're an enlightened community, uh, that figure is 30%. FreedomWorks graduates uh, end back in prison at the rate of no more than 5 to 8%. So you can imagine it costs about forty to fifty thousand dollars a year to house a prisoner. You can imagine how much money the state of Minnesota saves. And of course, we look at each resident or participant and as made in the image of God. And what can we do to foster that growth? The mission of Freedom Works is to um, reconcile men to God to family, and to community. And the family portion of that means they all have mothers, girlfriends, or wives, or daughters. And so we need women as, many, as much as we need men in the ministry. Um, what we know is that um, these men can go to a lot of different places, but they are really focused on improving their faith, you know, to know God again. I would say that in 
the, this process of me being involved in the ministry, uh, I became a champion, sat down with uh, George Lang, the executive director, and Chef Jeff Catering. Um, turned out that the facility that Freedom Works is in right now um, is 120,000 square feet spread over three buildings. Uh, two of the buildings house the men. Uh, they're four-story buildings and the men live in either single rooms or double rooms. But there's plenty of space inside that building uh, to have Bible study, etc. Uh, when Chef Jeff was looking for a facility, I got he and George Lang together and voila, Chef Jeff Catering is now housed at Freedom Works. And so between uh, <clears throat> Chef Jeff and George Lang, uh, they both had a vision for teaching men how to perform and learn culinary arts. And so that's what our proposal is uh, for the uh, Blessing Initiative. We connect with uh, uh, Colonial's core values in several ways. Um, first of all, you look at uh, for beloved, and that would be Matthew 25 and verse 36, where Jesus is separating the sheep from the goats. And uh, he says, among other things, I was in prison and you visited me. Right? Or converse, I was in prison, you did not visit me. So. And finally, uh, Jesus says in verse 40, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers, you did for me. Well, there's our connecting point. Uh, scripture calls for us to visit the prisoner and Freedom Works does that very well in terms of having staff on site, some who uh, live there, others don't live off site, but, you know, but perform. So, uh, there is a, and has been a long history of uh, Freedom Works at Colonial Church in terms of ministry partner. And um, some of the uh, mentors uh, today uh, include uh, Bob Neal and uh, Tom Brower, George Lancaster, and others. Uh, we've had uh, several men come to teach Bible study, like Steve Coleman teaches spiritual gifts every year. And uh, we've had uh, several of the pastors, including uh, Jeff Lindsay, come and meet and speak. Uh, there's a Thursday night connection every Thursday night for anybody to show up. And it's a dinner, it's a sit down dinner. Now COVID has forced us to cut back on some of that, but it's open again. And so we meet uh, Thursday nights uh, at the facility, have a sit down dinner, have a testimony by one of the men and uh, have a guest speaker. And uh, so Jeff Lindsay has been a guest speaker there at Freedom Works. We have ambitions to reach out in the community and at some point to have a food truck to cook the food, make it and sell it as a self-sustaining piece of the ministry. Uh, we know that there are other things that we're trying to do. For example, we have a computer lab, but the facility is outdated. This is a place where men and women from Colonial who have computer skills can come and teach these men how to use a computer. Uh, one of my mentees, after 20 years in prison, came out and said, how do I use a cell phone? I mean, if you can imagine what that's like. So this is a place where Jesus Christ is honored were taught, uh, involved deeply. And uh, I would say that over my years, from year 14 for me, uh, I've built some wonderful friendships. Praise God.